What's it going guys? This is Bang again and as you can see, I am currently packing and preparing for a trip. Which I am so excited about because I am back here in the Philippines and this is my first trip here since I resigned from my work in Dubai. So, let's get going! We are on our way to Ilocos which is about 8 hours away from Manila. But right now, we are here in La Union visiting this great farm. O oh, diba, may grapes dito sa Pilipinas. I always thought that grapes can only be grown in cold countries. But I was surprised to know that in the town of Bawang in La Union, there are several grape farms where you can buy and enjoy fresh grapes handpicked by you. Before we reach our first Ilocos destination, it is a must that we stop at one of the country's most beautiful bridges, the Carina Bridge. Wildly praised by its remarkable engineering and architectural design, it has become one of Ilocosur's iconic symbols and now a major tourist attraction. A UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its preserved Spanish colonial architecture here in the Philippines. Welcome to Vegan! I love walking around Vigan with its cobblestone streets, old dark wood mansions, and with the Calesa roaming around. It makes me relieve the books our national hero wrote in the late 19th century. Also one of the best places in the Philippines to buy antique furniture and woodcraft. Nope, I'm not back in Dubai. We're still here in Ilocos, here at the town of Pauai. This town is popular for its church and the 4x4 sand dunes ride. I open my eyes. Yep, if you're up to some high pumping, adrenaline boosting activity, then the sand dune bashing ride in Pauai is something that you shouldn't miss. Church, uh, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and also one of the most significant churches here in the Philippines. This was built in the year 1710 and this church is very unique from the other churches here because of the buttresses, enormous buttresses at the side and the back of the church. Now here we stand and hover on the edge oh, We're just a When you're in Ilocos, these are the food that you shouldn't dare miss. On top of my list are these three Ilocane favorites. The Vognet, which is a deep-fried pork belly, which I love because it's very crispy, but it's not dry. Best paired with guinamos and vinegar. And of course, rice. Up next is their longanisa, which is garlicky in flavor. And my preferred breakfast with egg and fried rice. And of course, their Ilocos Empanada, which is a deep-fried taco-looking snack made of longanisa, egg, and grated and ripe papaya. And while 
while I enjoy that empanada, here are other Ilocos dishes that I recommend you to try. to relax at the white sand beach of Hubbard Ford passing by the Cape Guiador Lighthouse and the Bangui Wind Farm. Turn your head, erase me, searching for my heart in the 